So I've been playing a lot of Wise of P recently, and it's quickly shaping up to be my favorite game of the year. However, one question that ate at me while I played was, where exactly does this game take place? So today I'll be attempting to answer that question with only information showcased to us within the game. I put this requirement on because one, I don't really use Twitter, so I can't see dev tweets, and two, this game is really well made, so I'd like to demonstrate how to use the game itself to understand where the map may be. So let's start off by analyzing the name of the town, Krat. I threw a quick Google search for this one and found that Krat is the word in Dutch which originates from Middle Dutch, Krate, best wear mold, from Old Dutch, Krata, Krato, from Proto-Germanic, Kratio, Krastijo, from Proto-Indo-European, uh, Gred, from Proto-Indo-European even farther, Ger, uh, pardon the awful pronunciations of those words, I don't speak any of those languages, but the long story short is these name origins point to Dutch and have something to do with the word basket. This could suggest that the game takes place near a Dutch-speaking area, or could suggest that some of the founders of the city were related to the Dutch, or, on top of all of those options, it could also indicate that the name basket has something to do with the early years and, and foundation of the city. This, however, isn't really useful and helpful in placing the city on a map. So let's try to turn to something more useful, the nationalities of the people within. Lies of P is inspired by the Italian story Pinocchio, and with this inspiration comes a vast collection of Italian characters, be it the Venini or Gabetto. This sizable Italian population is important to consider and certainly places the location of the city either in or around Italy. But these are just little hints. What about something more concrete? Well, don't you worry, I've got you covered. Going to the train station, one can find a train schedule. On this train schedule, we see a list of trains and where they are going. All of the trains are going to either Dacia or St. Marine. Let's start with Dacia. Dacia is the historic name, or Dacia, uh, of the, an area that is now mostly Romania. The Dacian kingdom lay on the outskirts of the Roman Empire, fighting several wars to maintain independence. However, it would mostly be conquered and then liberated during the fall of the empire. Dacia, however, would fail to exist really in any form outside of 106 AD because they were subsequently conquered by other tribes. This, however, isn't of major note to the video. I just kind of want to burn up this historical fact. But what is important to this train line that runs to Romania and it runs to somewhere in Romania. The four trains that go to Dacia are called the Star Regional 814, the E36, the Star Regional 819, and the Atlantic EC. Star Regional suggests that Dacia and Krat both belong to the same region, however the size of a region is variable and can mean the region of Europe or the region of a country, so we can't really use that to understand anything. The Atlantic EC is interesting, the EC could stand for several things so we can't really take a guess in that regard, but the Atlantic is, well, probably the Atlantic Ocean. I honestly don't know why it would reference the Atlantic, seeing as Dacia is nowhere near it. Perhaps the name in, in reference to other stops along this train, or the Lost City of Atlantis, or just maybe it's just a nice naming convention for the train. The confusion of these trains is a little less blatantly strange when we go to Saint Marine. Saint Marine is a real location located in center France, and looking at the two trains that run to it, we can make a decent bit of sense out of some things. Keystone Express is another one I don't have a clue, but Inner City FR. It seems kind of obvious in my opinion. Seeing as Saint Marin is French, the FR probably stands for France, and inner city most likely means between cities. So this is a train line is that runs between French cities, and its presence in Crot labels it as one of those cities. So this place is Crot somewhere in France, but near Italy. So can we find any other details that might be able to help us? Yes, yes we can, uh, but we're going to need a little bit more context please, for this one. So, we're going to Krat Station, we can go towards the Krat Hotel from the station, and eventually you're going to walk past this overlook where you can see the hotel. Looking left from this overlook, we can see something else, and that is some open waters. These vast waters could be ocean, sea, or lake, as we really don't have any idea how long it goes out for. However, the connection of water is a little bit deeper than just, oh look, it's there. Heading over to the city of Krat itself, we can head to the center town hall, or really anywhere in the city, and find the flag of Krat. This is a red and blue bicolor, and on it lies what can be assumed to be the city's crest, a fish surrounded by ornate decorations. This fish being on the crest demonstrates how important fishing is to the city. 
which combined with the nearby waters, demonstrate that prior to the discovery of Ergo, it most likely was fishing that founded Kirk. So we can solidly place the city of Krat near some major body of water. So let's review. Krat is a city near Italy, it is part of France, or a French nation, and is near a large body of water. Considering these facts, I believe that this places the city of Krat somewhere in what was once the historic duchy of Savoy. This border duchy lays between France and Italy, originally belonging to the Italian kingdom of Piedmont, for being given to France as part of Italian unity. This area would have a large amount of Italians, yet would be part of France with the French and ideas and culture by the 1900s. In this duchy, the city of Krat lays somewhere on the coasts. Some major cities that, that could represent Krat or Krat could be representing include Nice, Alebon, Anay, and if we define the French nation as francophones, potentially the French cantons that include Geneva. Finally, there is one last detail I'd like to bring up to close everything out. If you look west on the Alchemist Bridge, where west is defined as being left, where forward is defined as north, confusing definition, but hopefully that made sense, then you will see a river, but to the east you will see a large open body of water and some mountains. Why does this matter? Well, because this water is to the east. It's not the same water that we see by looking from Hotel Krat, as Hotel Krat's water is to the west. This like isn't a big lore detail, it's just a cool fun fact I pieced together by considering the locations of all the maps that didn't immediately strike me. So that's all I've really got for y'all today. Hopefully you enjoy going along with me exploring the possible hints as to where this game's location is. I'm sure when the game comes out fully, there will be many more details that help us accurately hone in on where this all exactly takes place, and I'm excited for that journey. I have my Discord link down below, and while we wait for the game's full release, I'll be posting all sorts of details that I can glean from this demo. So pop in if you want to join in for that. But this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.